Welcome back to another episode of MotoGP Mac and today we're going to talk about Cecanello's response to the latest rumors about his team. Now, as we know, Stefan Pierre came out and said that KTM would like to have discussions with LCR about the two spots that they currently have with Honda for the 2024 season. Now, he was quite straight out and saying he was really confident that there would be a third KTM team on the grid next season. However, Cecanello has come back and in his own sincere way, left a comment about the whole situation. He said, I want to be totally honest and transparent. About 10 days ago, I received a friendly phone call from Francesco Guidotti, the team manager for KTM and in which he told me in a sincere and anonymous way that from Silverstone, KTM would like to begin to understand how to move forward for the future together. They are interested in fielding another team in MotoGP, not only in a function of Acosta for next year. Gidati, in other words, tested the waters to see whether or not the LCR team was a short-term possibility. He asked me my situation for the 2024 season, Cecanello said, and I replied, I signed a three-year contract with Honda that will expire at the end of next year. And he said the phone call ended like this. Again, though, while he was talking, Cecanello was asked about this and he said, I have a contract with Honda for the 2024 season. It is not my intention to break it. And this is the simple truth. I've been with Honda in MotoGP for 18 years. Next year will be the 19th year. They are very consolidated human and professional relationships. It's clear that I will hardly leave and I feel like I am a Honda man. So I think it's a little bit of a weird statement to be fair. Yes, everyone knew. And even when I mentioned it on the previous videos, we knew he had a contract for the end of 2024. However, this is MotoGP and if a bike is not performing or if you're going to be given factory equipment, by another team contracts they can be broken and relationships they're a little bit of a different thing i do think it's really interesting what he said he is not denying that there was contact from ktm and i think this will give honda a kick in the arse now as well to start bringing over the the right equipment to the lcr team joe you know, that they're all on the one bike or one type of bike and equipment but i definitely think it's interesting to see that he's come out so quickly in defense i think in my view and i'm being very honest here i think japan have spoken and told it sounds a very company line sort of response in in my view but then Cecanello, he is a straight up and honest guy so i've no real reason to doubt him you know he says that he's going to honor the contract my honest opinion on this is money talks and money walks and if there's probably a way out of it that would suit Cecanello and it would need to be a long term um long term plan you know with this team it wouldn't be just a short term solution in my view but I definitely could still see it happening but I definitely love to know your thoughts what do you think of Cecanello's response to the whole situation that is going on definitely leave your thoughts in the comments below and I'll be back again tomorrow with another video.